a presence in the dark by username Rosia Z Z. I thought I stopped being scared of the dark. I actually enjoy darkness, or I did, until a few weeks ago. Now I feel the same as when I was a boy. I feel something might be lurking there, watching me. FYI, all of this really happened about a month ago. This is not fiction. I know many won't believe me, but I'm willing to swear on anything. My mind might have changed or warped some details, but this is what I remember exactly. One night, I was sleeping next to my girlfriend. It was quite late, must have been two or three in the morning when I opened my eyes and felt something strange. I quickly glanced over the room until my eyes stopped at something. A silhouette. The silhouette of a man completely covered in darkness. He didn't have any abnormal body proportions, he wasn't even too tall. Just a bald, shadowy man standing next to my girlfriend's right side and he was looking directly at me. Even though he had no eyes, I could feel his gaze aimed at me. I started to panic and hyperventilating like crazy. I was sure I was going to wake my girlfriend just with my breathing. Then I realised something. I couldn't blink. I stared at him for what felt like minutes, and I couldn't look away or blink. I could move. It wasn't sleep paralysis. This was different. My eyes started to sting like crazy. It felt like someone was slowly shoving knives in my eyes. And it just kept staring at me. I raised my hand to wake my girlfriend to make sure she sees it too. But then I noticed something. I noticed two dim red lights coming from his eyes. And they were getting brighter and brighter. I started to panic even more, so I decided that I'm waking up my girlfriend, no matter what. But it happened. I finally blinked. I was hoping that when I opened my eyes, it would be gone. My wish came true, but not in the way I expected. The silhouette didn't disappear immediately. Instead, when I opened my eyes, after having them closed for a few seconds, it seemed like it was evaporating. It looked like smoke being blown away by the wind, and then he was gone. For a few minutes I kept looking around in fear, expecting it to reappear, but it didn't, and I fell asleep, surprisingly quickly. I didn't experience any weird paranormal or scary stuff throughout my life. Of course, when I was little, I was scared of the dark, but I never saw anything in my 28 years not like this. So, I thought maybe I was half asleep and was imagining things, even though it felt so real. About a week later I was walking my dog somewhere between 10 and 11 p.m. as usual. But this time was interesting. As my dog was doing its thing, I heard this loud, monstrous screech. I live in a big city, Weird noises are a normal occurrence, mostly made by big machinery or trains. My dog never reacted to those, but this one was different from the others. It was nothing like anything I ever heard, and what really got me, my dog reacted. She looked startled, scared almost, so I hurried home, staying in the light on my way there. The entrance to our apartment building is through the back. There is no front entrance, so you have to go round the back, through darkness. Luckily, there's an automatic light right at the door, but there's this huge dark area behind you when you enter. My dog kept looking there like she was seeing something there. She never did that, never. I felt this fear consume me. I had a lot of trouble opening the door. My hands were shaking. That whole time I kept thinking about the silhouette I saw a week ago. I finally got inside, turned on the lights, locked the door and literally ran up the stairs to my second floor apartment. My girlfriend was already in bed, so I took a shower, which really helped me to calm down and I went to bed. 
not fully closing the door to our bedroom as we usually do so that our dog could get some water if she wanted to. I had trouble falling asleep. I wasn't scared, mind you, I just had a lot on my mind. At some point I did fall asleep, but something woke me up. Not sure when. The moon was very bright that night, so I saw the bedroom door slowly open. My first thought was that it was our dog coming back from the kitchen, but then I noticed her snoring right next to me. After that I started to panic, again hyperventilating. I felt fear through my whole body, and what was even worse, I couldn't move. I've never felt such fear in my entire life, even though I didn't see anything in the door. I just felt like something must be around the corner. I must have fallen asleep at some point, as the next thing I remember is waking up in the morning. I thought to myself that maybe I was dreaming which wouldn't be so strange considering the recent events. But then I saw it. The bedroom door was fully open. 